This is Spencer from The MacGuffin, and today I'm joined by Sasha Lane, the star of American Honey, uh, which, I mean, incredible buzz coming out of Khan already, so I uh, don't need to do too much promoting of it. Um, I want to get right to it. Um, this is your first feature. You're working with a critically acclaimed director. You're working with opposite Shia LaBeouf, who's been acting since he was a child. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like for you to prepare for that? And um, what was the experience like filming with these people? Um, I think it's so bizarre and so like, oh my gosh, that <laughs> one, since I didn't really have a script or anything, you can't prepare for that. And also, I think it, it was kind of best for me, and the only way I could process it was to not think and just be like, each day is a day, and don't think about what you're doing and who you're doing with and what this whole thing is. I just had to just kind of be like, what? That's a pretty remarkable <laughs> approach, especially since, as you said, you didn't have a script. What was was that like? Was that that actually was easier for you? Because I, I feel like for me, if you threw me into like <laughs> this very intense situation, you're like, oh yeah, by the way, you have to do this all on your own anyway. Like, I don't know. It could be. I guess it could go either way. Yeah, I think it was. I just took it as you don't know what's next in life, and you know, it just it was it was kind of weird because you would get the side the day before, and I was like now and then I do this tomorrow or I do this today it was kind of bizarre but also pretty much that was the only way I knew to mm. do it because that's the first time I've ever done it so yeah. it just became such a natural thing for me and such a use your skills of maybe like procrastinating like procrastinating last minute <laughs> studying for your exam type thing so I just be like okay and I don't know. It was just a very, like, just did it. take just, it as it is. Yeah. That's we awesome. had no other way. Uh, it was my understanding that the film was filmed chrono chronologically, right? Did that help that process, maybe? Because you didn't have to, like, jump between, like, oh, my character's at this point currently versus, like, I'm here. I'm just continuing building on where I'm at. And Exactly. It's very much in the moment type of feel. So, I mean, there'd be certain things where I'd be like, Andrew, I feel like I need to know a little more <laughs> so I know how to or else I'm gonna to react this way, you yeah. know? And I don't know how else yeah. to react because I don't know anything, but it did help you be in that moment and then you just kind of feel it so much mm. that you know, you see the words and you're like, this is how I'd say that, okay, cool. And you go, yeah, you just kind of take what you got and go for it. One of the interesting aspects of it is, I don't know even what you call it, the group that you're part of. Like, I don't know if there's like- That crew yeah, of yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> What was it like sort of cultivating that chemistry amongst all of you? Because obviously the time you guys spent together was a significant portion of the, the trip and like how you guys all interacted with each other was definitely an important part of the movie. What was it like trying to cultivate that chemistry? Was it something that you guys actually were able to do beforehand or were you literally just like chucked together and it was sort of like finding that chemistry as the movie's going along? Yeah, I mean we had like a week before we started filming and I mean, we lived in those motels and everything, so you, all you have to do is kind of <laughs> chill in the parking lot and knock on each other's doors like, yo, what's up? <laughs> so you just naturally built it, and it was very quick, and it was nice because, personally, I'm the type of person who is just like, I'll hang around a bit, and then I'll just casually dip out and come in and out, mm. and since I would work a lot by myself, and then I'd just have to come home and hang out with them or see them when I get to see uh. them, it, like the whole dynamic like worked you know it was just kind of like I could just be amongst it and it was just crazy because people like cutie in the movie you know she's protective of me kind of like sorry what are you doing yeah, and yeah, yeah. that's how she was in real life just kind that's of like funny. Sasha what are you doing and I'm like oh you know just running down the street and yeah so it was a really cool way to bond that's pretty neat yeah what was the most challenging aspect of filming this for you if, if it, there was such a spontaneous nature and everything actually worked in your favor. What actually was the challenge for you? Because it seems like, I mean, maybe it was the emotional intensity of the movie or I don't, I don't know. What, what actually was the challenge for you then? I think it was, yeah, some of the scenes having to go there emotionally, having to become so vulnerable, knowing that so many people are going to be watching this and I'm in a room full of people watching me do it. Um, just coming from my background is taught not to like show your emotions you know mm. I'm very much like keep that to yourself mm -hmm. and don't ever project that onto yeah. people but now I'm in a situation where I have to full-blown like let everyone feel that and so that was very difficult to get that vulnerable but luckily you know Andrea kept it very small she everyone was so they everyone was family you know like 
behind the scenes than mm -hmm. people. So you just felt more comfortable and free to do that. But if anything, yeah, that was probably the most difficult. That's an interesting point. I would probably relate very much to you on that regard. But what is it like then um, getting cast in a movie like this? And were you aware of how like raw this was actually going to be in some ways of just like this is an intense journey for this girl? Like, were you cognizant of that? And how did you sort of like, I don't know, mentally prepare yourself for that? Because it, I mean, this is this is not like. I don't know what Shia LaBeouf's first happy movie is, but this is not like Holes. Like this yeah. is this is not like an easy, happy-go-lucky film or anything like that. This is like this is indie. This is yeah. raw. This is real. Like the thing about it is, I'm obsessed with the people, like people's minds. I love mm. raw. I love real and authentic and all of that. So I loved. I knew it was going to happen, and I loved the idea of it. But it, then you get to it and you're like, wait, but now I literally have to go there. So what I would do is just kind of try and not take it so personally on certain things and just mm. think about who I was representing as well. Like, it's not just about you. You're also representing so many other people who go through these things. Mm. And that was my only way of pushing past my fear of being so vulnerable to, because I had to. It's like a thing that I had to do. So Amazing. I just would constantly be yeah. like, you got to do it. It's you got to do it. Yeah. Is it difficult to sort of, I don't know, turn it off at the end of the day at all? Because like a film like this, this is like very much ground in a reality yeah. versus like, again, with Shia Hoof, like Transformers. Like at the end of the day, you walk away, you're like, I don't need to worry about robots blowing up a building <laughs> or something like that. Whereas this one, it's like you're really in that character's mind going through this film. Exactly. And um, we lived together in those motels. We were in that van we created this bubble around us, so I didn't talk to anyone outside of the cast. You know, I ref refused, so it, it did make it kind of difficult to, at the end of the day, not be angry at the person I was angry at mm. and to not feel all those emotions because you have to unlock your mind and you have to dig into things that you've made packed away because you need to stem those experiences out so you can put that energy out and it's hard to just be like, okay, goodbye. <laughs> like, nice, you know, had a good emotional day today, but now we're just going to go party and whatever, so. I mean, you you actually, it sounds like we're essentially living this life for the course of filming this movie. Like, you're with these people all the yeah. time. You're staying where the characters stay. You're riding exactly. in the car. Exactly. It's <laughs> like they just filmed our summer. Yeah. So, yeah, it was kind of like, who I would be like, Angia, you know, what? I'm, what's, I'm sorry, who am I again? Like, what is the difference? I mm. can't tell. So, just... Yeah, but luckily I would like get off work and you know everyone would be kind of like chilling and all hanging out and there'd just be this kind of like, hey guys, yeah man, <laughs> and we're all just kind of like that was like your family, you know, so you felt yeah. like safe still. So yeah. What is it like after the fact though? Like to look back and watch the film now and see like, wow, like did it come together in your mind as you're doing it, like the final product, or do you look at it and you're like, wow, this is much more intense than I thought, or this is much more different than I expected it to be, or how, how is it sort of looking? Since you lived it, I mean, it's not yeah. just like you're like on set five hours a day and then you come back and do it again. It's, it's like, this is essentially looking at your summer or whatever, you know? It, it's kind of trippy because I mean, we had like a hundred hours worth of film for, you know, I mean, it's a long movie, but it's not a hundred hours. Yeah. So, and then some of the scenes where I'd be like, reads maybe a little cheesier like I don't know how that'd work or me and Riley would kind of sometimes laugh a lot in a lot of our intense scenes but then when I was watching it I was like oh my gosh whoa you're scary or you know like there's something there or you would just see how things came together and you're just like whoa like how did you group around that because even though I was living it it was for seven and a half weeks and they condensed it and you're just like wow, that all came together, just how you kind of had it in your mind, Andrea, or I guess a little different, there's always different turns, but it's just a really bizarre thing to see all of that like unfold into the film. Totally. It, you know, it doesn't even feel like a film to us. It, I mean, it's like it, a yearbook. Like, it, even watching it, it it's it, like, I, yeah, I don't even know what to describe it as, is like, it almost feels like more of a documentary than a film yeah. in some ways, just because it is, especially as you speak about it, like, 
essentially watching this life unfold yeah. before your eyes. Yeah. Um, so the film is American Honey. Uh, it's coming out limited release September 30th, and then I think it's in Seattle October 7th. Yeah. Um, is there anything else that you want people to know that you are working on, or is there a best place for people to find you online so they can keep track of what you're working on or anything like that? Um, as far as like things I'm working on, I always just say like, you just never know what's gonna happen. Like clearly I didn't know this would happen. Things change, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of, but I'm in it, you know, I'm about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I mean, fall, I mean, like I have like Twitter, I guess. I don't know. Um, Sasha Bianca 23, if you want to hit me up. and Probably a good place to follow as things evolve. You know, yeah. I mean, it's it's cool getting all the American honey love like that. We can just share it, and it's just, it's really amazing. It's like I feel it in my heart. <laughs> I'm, like I'm interested to, like, as, as interesting as that, film, I'm almost interested to see your next film just because it's going to be such a dramatic change yeah. to actually see you, like, step away from that. I just did a short, so that'd be kind of, it'll be, it, for, even for me, it's just like, hmm. You can do something else, and it's like, it's, it's bizarre still. Phenomenal. Well, uh, best of luck with American Honey, and I can't wait to see what you're doing next. Thank you.